Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Remco from RGVGuitars.com. Uh, proud to present you this week's new arrivals. And it's a pretty nice bunch again by Fender, Gibson, Ibanez, and many others. So uh, we're gonna start off with this Rory Gallagher Strat. This is from the year 2008. In very good shape, besides the Relic by Fender, of course. There isn't a lot of paint on this one. It's a complete set with the certificate, the papers, the ashtray, the keys for the case, extra switch. At this moment there is a, let's see, three-way switch installed and the five-way is separate in the back here. Many people prefer the five-way, so it's easy to adjust. Comes in a brown Tolex case. These have a very, very nice tone. Nice natural feel. Also the back of the neck. Nice detail. They replicated the Godo tuner. Just as on Rory's original guitar. The Spurzels and the Godo. Show you the back of the body. Also not a lot of paint, but therefore a very nice satin natural feel and nice tone. Headstock. Alright, that was the Rory Gallagher. On to the next one. And here is the next one. This is a Gibson Les Paul Standard 1959 reissue, Murphy aged, not a Murphy lab. This one is Murphy aged by the man himself. This is a 2016 guitar, a true historic spec. The lovely gold. The way the gold looks is very important to get that right, and this one really has a nice shade darker shade of gold so very nice checking I hope it appears in the video There's some green as do the, as the oldies have take a look there's a Tom Murphy signature here TN TN really nice gold top One of the better ones I had, I must say. Really, really good tone and feel in this one. Very fat neck. Feels like a 58. Pretty solid. Beefy neck on this one. Nice yellowed logo. Turtoise. Side dots, as you can see. Yellow binding and the edges are nice rounded. Yeah, I'm very enthusiastic about this one. I will do my best not to keep it, I can't keep them all. But this really is a serious contender to be added to the RJV collection. But I will try to be strong. Yeah, lovely piece. All right. On to the next one. Another Fender, another artist model. This time it's a Richie Cotson Telecaster. These are were made in Japan. Very nice specs. Gold hardware, flame maple top, alder body. A maple neck with a pretty firm profile, pretty fat, like the 58 Les Paul. The Richie signature on the headstock. Here are the saddles. At this moment, it has these black ones installed. Comes with the Marcio humbucker in single coil size, so this is really a nice guitar 
to rock as well as have some nice twangy sparkly fender tones a telecaster tones the back also has that nice two back co kind of finish as you can see it has some scratching here and there but overall pretty nice shape with a Japanese guitar the serial number is positioned here you can see it contour like a strat yeah these are pretty nice guitars so and now to something completely different I'm also into acoustics not as much as electrics but I personally love acoustics so if I find a nice one I'll buy it and keep it or put it on the website this time it's a cap mo artist model it's built by the Gibson custom shop 2016 it has a nice herringbone it has an Adirondack spruce top it has a pickup system you can see here the nice light little wheels very subtle there's the headstock aged bindings Capmo goes with the certificate checklist original case a very nice little guitar very comfortable nice to sit on the couch and do some picking and strumming but with the pickup system you can also use it on stage very well beautiful guitar right hard to not keep this one but yeah you can't keep them all right all right this is something completely different again I'm gonna show you some Marshalls this is a 1981 JCM 800 an oldie from the 80s in very very good shape great tone in these really a classic a future classic or probably already is and I also have a Joe Satriani artist model hat here the 410 HJS very versatile amp a lot of channels a lot of possibilities a lot of tones to rock like Satch comes with the food switch here I also have the purple one in stock as a complete set so if you're interested interested in that one let me know it's not online yet but I have it here all right, and this is something really cool. This is a master build Strat. Take a look at that finish. This is an anniversary Strat to celebrate 50 years of the 1954 Strat. This one is a master build guitar. A one-on-one -on -one replica of the first year Strat. A very nice fat neck. These rounded pickup covers backlight so different material the big fat knobs the wonderful finish checking in the two-tone sunburst finish and it comes with the embroidered case really nice guitar right that's not also has that 50 shape let me show you the back of the headstock. You can see the signature of the master builder here, Dennis Galuska in this case. It appears this one had a bad guitar stand at one point. But take a look at the beautiful wood grain and that nice finish checking. Lovely guitar. Great tone in this one as well comes with an extra switch the ashtray and certificate at this moment there's a five-way switch installed so this is the three-way full detail or full let me do a full shot of that one take a look okay a lot of fenders this week there is another one a very special one this is a vintage strat from 1978 it's an all black and it's a lefty as you can see 
I decided to also please the lefty player. So if I can find a nice lefty, I will buy it. And this is a nice example. It has a wonderful bird's eye maple neck. It has nice, the aged look to it. 78. Then check out the back of the neck. Original tuners. Bird's eye neck. Beautiful. It's really nice. Rosewood fretboard, obviously. Okay, on to the next one. For the Joe Satriani fans, another item. This is a JS1000. And a metallic black. Oh no, sorry. Metallic gray paint. Hard to capture, but it really looks really cool. This one has some play wear, it's really a player. Some dings and bongs here and there. But with original case, plays and sounds great. Here you go. And here is another one. This is a Gibson Les Paul SG, 1962 issue. From 2012 in a limited run white finish comes with the original case papers really nice models aged white hard to capture but it's a bit yellowing a bit and as you can see the finish is also starting to check on many spots you can see here the finish checking all over. Really cool vintage look. So if you're not into cherry or black and want something else, there you go. There aren't any dings or dongs, it's just the checking in the finish. So overall it's a pretty clean guitar. Yellow bindings, aged bindings. Small guard, flector knobs. Yeah. Nice one. Okay, on to the next one. This is a 2005 gem VWH. Very famous white gem with the gold parts and the abalone and pearl vinyl. This is the guitar Steve Vai plays most of the times in the live shows. His flow and all the nicknames he gave them. This one has the rosewood fretboard. The early ones had ebony. This is rosewood. Has the Evo pickups. As I said, gold hardware, gold screws. Pretty elegant looks with the pearl, the gold, the white. Look at the headstock. With the two hamburgers and the single coil, you can get a lot of tones out of these. Very heavy, but also very thin, sparkly sounds. Monkey grip, obviously original case, comes with the tags. Only thing missing is the back plate on this one. Pretty good shape. Um, so those were this week's arrivals. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and let me know if you have something nice to sell or trade. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.